Okay, hello guys, this is the Hokage of Gaming, and I have a new video for you just after the one from yesterday. This is an, an, another Nintendo Switch leak. The Switch comes out in a few months, the Switch event comes out in a few weeks, but this is big. Resident Evil 7, a horror game. I've never played a Resident Evil game, but at this point it doesn't make a difference. There is a rumor going around that Resident Evil 7 will be available on the Switch with VR capability. See, Resident Evil coming to the Nintendo Switch VR capability. This is the patent for VR on the Switch. It looks just like a Samsung Galaxy, what's it called? One of the mobile headsets. It does, it's not cutting edge, but it is still a VR headset with air quotes around it. I, in my opinion, I don't think we would need VR with the Switch, but... They said that it's not going to be a launch, it's not going to be, it's not going to come on launch, it's going to come out probably a few months down the line, sometime, it just, it's just not going to be launching with VR. Now my thing is, since they're having issues with it, will they pull a Xbox and a um, Sony, and will they release the Switch Plus, or a better version of the Switch, the Switch Mobile, something? Something extra to like powered up and slimmer, more portable, like they do with the 3DS XL. They didn't do it with the Wii U because the Wii U was just a home console and it was just there. But they could do that. I couldn't see them doing that, but there's something in the back of my head that tells them, tells me that they would do it. Um, and another thing. As you can see, latest rumor to come out, Capcom working on Resident Evil 7 port for Switch. Not expected at launch. Now, not only is this pushing Nintendo out into other third-party companies, but it, all, it is also tightening their ties with Capcom. So let's say they were to release Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite on the Switch. I would buy that. They, I don't think they would do it. It would probably just keep it PS4... I would like it for PS4 and X, not Xbox, PS4 and Switch, because the Switch would be a revolutionary way to play it on the go with your friends, etc. Uh, and also, as I said before, this is pushing them out into other companies. So, another horror game, no, I, I don't really play horror games. I like to watch them, I don't play them. But this is expanding into mature territory, so we might get more mature games and other third-party support from other companies. And once again, with the Switch having, uh, what's it called? GameCube virtual console games, maybe we could get Resident Evil 4. Well, even though this game has been released, re-released multiple times on... We, PS4, and other consoles and such, it is still, what people say, one of the best Resident Evil games. I wouldn't know because I've never played a Resident Evil game, but if it's the best, well then, we release it again because there'll still be the amount of people that still want to buy it. So anyways, this is the 31st, New Year's Eve. I hope you guys have a great New Year's Day and a great 2017. And thank you for watching this video. Our last video on Nintendo Switch Leaks is now at 47 views at the time of uploading this video. So thank you. Please like and subscribe and have yourself a blessed day.